Fuck know, yeah. I, I, All the way, Boba. No, I, I, I think uh, I would never count out Manny Pacquiao. But you have to make Spence a big favor. No. Who am I biased for? They're both all-time greats. I respect Manny Packer's work more than I respect Mayweather's. I think Mayweather took the careful road. I think Manny Packer took more risk. And I agree with Ryan Garcia and Bernard Hopkins. If I had a boxing career, I'd rather have Manny Pacquiao's over Floyd Mayweather's. So, sir, maybe you're all in your feelings, but you got the wrong channel. I've never been a Mayweather fan. And if you listen to any of my videos, you would know that. Also on my channel, I never said a bad thing about Manny Pacquiao. I supported him when he was on fight Conor McGregor. I said Pacquiao did enough in the sport, he deserves to make money. I also had him fighter of the decade over Floyd Mayweather. We also gave Manny Pacquiao major props for fighting prime champions at the age of 42. While his counterpart, Floyd Mayweather, is fighting YouTubers. And then we look at the Errol Spence fight. Even though I picked Spence to win, I say Pacquiao is a live dog and I would not put money on this fight. And I will be cheering for Manny Pacquiao to win this fight. But this is not a popularity contest. Just because I don't like Floyd Mayweather does not give me a right to just shit on his legacy because he was an all-time great. He's 50 and 0, five division titles. But my opinion is this. If, my, if it was my list, I would put Pacquiao above Mayweather on the all-time great list. I feel that Pacquiao fought better competition, fought more competition in the prime, and he has eight division titles. But what do I know? Like Noel Garcia says, maybe I'm just a biased Floyd Mayweather fan, since he knows everything about me after one video. <laughs> I won't compare my myself with Nakatane and after you can see how it was with uh, Teofimo Lopez. Three division champ Vasil Lomachenko will be back in the ring June 26th. With a tough opponent, I give him props on this. Nakatani's no joke. Most guys coming off an injury that Lomachenko suffered would take a tune-up, but Lomachenko wants to get right to work and fight the best. Now, Loma is still bothered by the loss from Team Female back in October 17th, and he admits it. He's been watching the fight over and over again, and he said he came to one conclusion that it was a draw. Lomachenko wants a rematch bad and him not making a rematch clause in this fight is going to haunt him for the rest of his life. Because it seems like Tiafimo Lopez is going to fight Combosis, then Devin Haney. But it seems like Lomachenko sees a glimmer of hope. You know, he's picking Nakatani. He loves the fight. He wants to compare himself to Tiafimo Lopez, who also fought Nakatani. Nakatani took Tiafimo Lopez to the limit. It seems like Lomachenko's mindset is to go in there and destroy Nakatani, rather be knockout or a 12-round cakewalk. This is according to BoxingNews.com. Since T. Fimo is not going to give Lomachenko a rematch, it seems very unlikely. So he wants to fight Nakatani to make a statement to his fans, to T. Fimo's fans, and to T. Fimo Lopez. See what I did to Nakatani with two good shoulders? I will do the same thing to Tiafimo if he gives me a rematch. At the end of the first fight, I thought it'd be a rematch, but Tiafimo doesn't want it. I think Tiafimo got the victory and he's gone. He's moving on. And maybe Loma should do the same. Would I like to see a rematch? Yeah, I hope it happens. But it seems unlikely. I don't think any of the so-called three kings or four kings will fight Loma. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.